You know, there are a lot of stupid videos that get a ton of mainstream attention these days, but it wasn't always the case. For instance, do you remember this? <laughs> Meet Gary Brolsma, or as his internet friends know him, G-Man250. But you see, you probably know him as the Numa Numa guy, the world's first viral sensation. Okay, look, maybe not the first, but Gary plays an important role in an untold story about internet meme dough. Let's dive in. And it all started on December 6, 2004, when this very attractive New Jersey videographer who had just graduated from high school and was starting a very prospective career at Expert PC decided to do something that nobody had done before. Upload a lip sync with very lively gesticulations to the Moldovan pop trio Ozone song, Dragostia Din to the flash animation site known as Nude Rounds. A song that was a major hit, you know, in a, in, a, in a few European countries and roughly translates to love in the linden tree. What the hell is a linden tree? Anyways, it was relatively unknown at the time to most of the world until Gary Brosma brought it to you like this. See, you know something is truly historic when it's in 360p. Look at that quality. And this video, Doctors Not Only Insured would give you a mad case of disco fever, but it was one of the first viral videos to gain massive international attention. Within just three months after it had been released, it had already accumulated over 160 million views from various sites and blogs. And you know what that means, right? 160 million eyeballs spent 98 seconds of their time looking at this. And some people you can't forget, probably watched it more than once. And thus, the Numa Numa craze was born. But what was to come, not even Gary Brolsma could have predicted. Hello? Following this massive achievement, Gary Brolsma couldn't stop there, so he uploaded another video titled, New Numa, The Return of Gary Brolsma which on Newgrounds has received over 16 million views to date. Then, of course, there followed the countless copycats, the knockoffs, you know, the not-so-good versions of the song. Everyone just had a mad case of Numa Numa fever, but no one could do it like Gary. There was so much attention around this video that Gary even sponsored the Numa contest, which promised $45,000 for the winner submission. That's more than I make ever. I can beat anybody at that. Wait, wasn't this contest from like a decade ago? Damn it! Okay, look, sometimes I'm a little bit off with my research, so if you would like to help me with some videos in the future, hit me up on Twitter. My link is in the description. Now, to date, the original Numa Numa video is considered to be the second most viral video of all time. Just falling short of, you know, that other tubby kid with the amazing lightsaber skills. <laughs> But this is where our story turns. Numa Numa wasn't just a viral video. It was the viral video, a game changer for the internet and memes alike. Because of its vast scope, it caught the attention of the mainstream media. From ABC's Good Morning America to the NBC's Tonight Show with one massive chin, even being poorly recreated in animation on South Park. Gary was now invited to talk to the masses on a medium that had recently only been saved for the A-listers, the hot stuffs, the political wankers, you know, the quote, quality peeps. But now, see now, the mainstream had to embrace what we know as the living meme. So where is Gary the Numa Numa Brawlsma now? After his initial success, not only would he go on to upload sequels to his original Picasso, including a 10th anniversary edition, but in 2010, he began something called the Numa Network, which originally was supposed to be a collaboration of different media companies, such as College Humor and producing content together. But sadly, that kind of seems to have been a dead end. I couldn't find too much information on it or how it turned out. It is known that Gary is currently living, <laughs> thank God, as an extremely handsome web designer. I mean, look at that face. And you know, you can still find him occasionally uploading on his Gary Brawls, my YouTube channel. However, his story is so much more important than just one guy who turned on his webcam and decided to lip sync to some foreign jams. Gary proved to the world that there was coming a time when there would be a shift in what we would call 
mainstream media. A great chasm of change was taking place. And maybe we couldn't see it back then, but if you look at mainstream media today, it is filled with the likes of internet personalities. And vice versa, the struggle for eyeballs has turned the mainstream media and A-listers to turn to the internet for success. Maybe you've heard of, you know, famous YouTuber Will Smith, Josh Peck, or Jack Black. Yeah, they used to be on TV or made movies or something like that, right? But now they're YouTubers. All of them are using the internet to keep their careers relevant. All thanks to some simple internet memeage that started with a guy and his webcam. Remember, I'm Ryan, and I'll see you in the next video.